You just start squeezing in some of the the berries. Gotta squeeze them in so that you can get some of the juice out. And then, all right, just adding some of the botanicals to the drink. So I broke up the cinnamon sticks. And here we've got some berries, some cherries. We've even got stuff like um, cardamom seeds, which are used mostly in cooking. But uh, cardamom seeds release a nice scent and flavor into into the drink so that it's just not a boring gin. Most of the ingredients actually are just spices and some leaves that you will use for cooking. So you've got those spices guys in your kitchen. Start raiding your kitchen now and run to your local Tesco's. If you're in South Africa, your local checkers, so pick and pay. And you can either use, can you use um, fresh oranges or does it need to be dry or dried? Yeah. You can use fresh oranges, but the peel, the orange peel, so that you can get that zest effect and also like bend it slightly. And that usually that, that flavor, that sort of bitter flavor, you don't like to, to taste mm. in the drink. It becomes a bit. Uh, and mild, what mild. gin flavor are we using today? We've got uh, rhubarb and ginger, which is quite lovely. Is there a reason why you prefer to use a flavored gin can anybody use their like a normal plain like your london dry gin or your gordon's gin or well, any other or is it because this one's got a little bit more flavor than well gin traditionally is very nasty drink so the idea of adding botanicals was to give a flavor to the gin but um, now people are cheating by bringing in the gin already flavored but i still like the taste and the texture that you get with some of the botanicals in the drink so maybe squeeze in a few more blueberries. We've got also some uh, cucumber mint and light cucumber and mint tonic water, which also adds a bit of more flavor. That's for you gin lovers over there. Do we add ice or? Traditionally, yes, but we're in Wales and it's really cold here, so I don't fancy ice in my drink today. Okay, so guys, you can add ice if you're somewhere hot like South Africa, um, just to give it a little bit extra coldness into your drink. But we are in the middle of the winter in Wales, so which is why he's just using, obviously, gin and the tonic that's already been in the fridge, so it's chilled enough. And you're probably going to stir that or... There's um, a oh, straw stale. in the there's a straw in the post, yeah. in the drawer there, and then he's gonna give it a little bit of a stare. Mm. Mm. What's the verdict? It's absolutely delightful. Amazing. <laughs> not the last one but the one before that i promise you guys i was going to show you how to do uh, mulled wine so with the fact that i've got a friend over who is million badass in doing gins i thought since some of you are from warm countries like south africa i know that festive season time is not like in the uk where it's cold which mulled wine is perfect for so why don't we do gin so he showed me how to do a perfect festive drink using gin and the gin that he's used is this rhubarb uh, gin, ginger, I almost said gin, ginger gin which we got from Aldi at a bargain for I think was it 14 pounds a bottle? For 14 pounds even saves you money, you know nobody's got money during pandemic and he used also the which 
I'll put my hand up. It's the first time that I see a ten tonic water that is flavored. This is cucumber and mint. And it's light for those who are in a diet. So perfect if you want to lose weight. And on here, it's some of the spices that he's used. And also, it wouldn't be a gin without blueberries. The only thing missing is the mint leaves, which we couldn't get. I think it's off season or something. I even joked that we might use a spinach leaf, but he told me off. So there we go. A perfect, perfect gin. Um, I might have all of them, actually. Cheers. Good <laughs> You're gonna love this honestly the flavors that are busting in my mouth i just want to have more and more but anyway let's finish shooting this video and then i can drink some more merry christmas to everyone. Cheers.